Hi Pisces and welcome to your tarot love reading for the month. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for Yihi in relation to love and romance this month. As always guys, these messages are general so I'd just like for you all to sort of keep that in mind um, throughout the tarot reading. If you are interested in a personalized tarot spread, I do offer those. Please feel free to reach out and inquire. Um, Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the messages here that are coming in for you. So these, these messages are intended for Pisces Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and for those of you that also might be cross-watching as well. So let's see, Pisces, um, what you might need to know or be guided, what messages you might need to be guided to here this month. Okay. Ooh, out of frame. We've got the chariot, the devil here, the emperor. Okay, both the chariot, the emperor in reverse. Um, the star card, the seven of pentacles, and the nine of wands. Okay, um, it's going to be a big month for you, I believe, in terms of love and romance. Major arcana cards bring in powerful messages here as standalone cards and especially you know those messages are sort of heightened in combination with the remaining tarot cards here okay so let's take a look pisces here the chariot in reverse what's going on for you here okay interesting okay what this means for some of you guys there could be a potential romantic connection here that might not necessarily be um progressing as you wish Pisces okay there could be a stagnation that you might feel here there could be feelings and I do feel like there is some sort of deeply personal connection that you might potentially feel with someone you could potentially feel like maybe this person is a soulmate maybe they are your destiny you have strong feelings about this person from what I can see Pisces but I'm also seeing that it's not progressing as you want it to things are possibly stagnated or things aren't moving ahead okay you may feel as though connection has no direction or you may feel as though this person isn't showing enough interest or is not giving you enough of their attention here um you do have this novelesque or this fairy tale image here of love and romance pisces you do have a tendency to view you know especially love and matters of the heart through a pair of rose colored glasses here but from what I from what I'm seeing, you may this month here you may feel you could feel as though you're trying to force a connection here. You could you could even feel as though you you know you're wanting to sort of control or dictate where this romantic connection is um, going. Just because you feel as though it lacks direction, or just because you feel as though you know it lacks a drive here, and it's not happening, not in the way that you intend for it to happen here, Pisces. Okay, you may also, you may be uncertain about a connection here, you may find yourself a little bit uncertain, not necessarily about the individual per se, because I sense the chariot sort of is in reverse, but it looks towards the star card, I sense that you have a deep personal connection to this person, you have a bond, a very strong emotional bond, or you just have strong feelings, even if you can't explain them Pisces, it doesn't matter because you feel them here, but I sense that you feel as though Maybe you want to hurry up and quicken the pace, or you maybe you want this person to, you know, make the first move. Whatever it is, it seems that there is something here that you're not certain about here. It could also, you might just need to maintain focus with the chariot in reverse. It could also dictate that the connection here may be full, full of winding turns and twists. But it just all might be worth it in the end. As long as, I feel like as long as you sort of keep the confidence and keep that courage alive, you have a, I feel like there'll be a strong possibility here that you'll emerge victorious with the chariot here. Okay, Pisces, you need to come to terms here. I'm getting a strong sense of control. You need to come to, term, come to terms 
with the fact that you can't always be in control. You're not always in control of your fate. You're not always in control of your destiny. You can't be in control of the way people respond to you or the way that they don't respond to you. Okay, you can only control what you feel. Not even that, right? You can use you can only control sort of your reaction to the situation. It's okay if something isn't going according to your plans, Pisces. It's okay if things aren't unfolding exactly as you envision them. And you are quite the visionary Pisces, and that's okay. I'm not saying that your plans aren't, you know, weren't grand or aren't grand, but I'm just trying to get at the fact that there may be bigger plans in store for you in a romantic connection. Or even for those of you that are single, you could put possibly finding yourself feeling this way. Like, you know, things aren't necessarily progressing. Like, you're losing control with the Emperor in reverse. Um... And especially with the devil here, I'm sensing that there is either some sort of very strong infatuation or very strong um, sexual chemistry with this person, but it may not necessarily have direction. Okay. Um, I also feel like with the devil, he's got this dominance, right? He's almost got this hypnotic stare um, and there's this dominance here. I feel like, uh, Pisces, you could be a slave to your old beliefs, or you could be a slave sometimes to your visions here. Let go. Sometimes it's important to um, to let go of the bigger picture here, is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces, especially this month, okay? This month is all about letting go of control, is what I'm seeing. You don't always have to be in control of your visions. In fact, you don't always have to be in control of your plans. Um, a lot of the times, things are going to unfold not according to your plan and that's okay Pisces and I feel like you're going to experience a lot of that this month and what I'm seeing for you um, go with the flow okay because sometimes I feel like the flow he may take you places that might not have been in your plans that may not have been in your visions but I am seeing it's in your destiny Plans are going to go astray. You may feel as though you're losing a sense of control, but I feel like that's going to be a good thing for you here, Pisces, because I feel like maybe you're a slave here. Maybe you're a slave to your old thinking patterns or your old beliefs or just some of your visions here. You know, sometimes you don't need to see the staircase. Sometimes you don't need to see where you're going. You just sort of need to trust. Take, you know, um, trust in yourself. Trust in the universe's plan for you. Just take the first step and... See where that takes you. Sometimes it could take you places far more grander and further than you've ever envisioned. But you need to trust the process is what I'm seeing, Pisces, for you. I'm also seeing that you're being a little bit impatient. For those of you that are single, it's like you want to hurry love, you want to hurry up and, you know, meet your soulmate, um, you know, the one who's destined for you. You feel as though there are so many elements of your life maybe this month, in particular romance, see your romantic chapter. The romantic sector here is, um, you may feel as though, you know, you're losing control here. Um, I'm just saying that there is a need for you to be patient here. Because I feel like you've, in the past, you Pisces, you've invested a lot of yourself and your emotional energy into certain people, right? And you do that. You tend to give a, a lot of yourself away to people, even to people who don't necessarily deserve all of you or even the best parts of you here. But I'm seeing that... Patience here is going to patience is going to pay off this month here is what I'm seeing. This could mean diff different things for, for um you know for different fishes here. It could potentially mean that if you're patient and accepting with things get going out of control or things are you know taking a different turn or you know um, hitting a, a twist and, and a bend in your path, I feel like your patience is going to pay off because it's going to take you it's going to lead you down different roads for others of you you know you are for the, especially for those of you that are sort of coupled up or seeing someone i can see that you are emotionally invested okay and it does feel like it potentially could be a very rewarding connection um it, it feels very very transparent there's this nakedness about the star card here this person may very well be the one but you're going to have to be patient because okay, I feel like over time, more and more will be revealed to you. You can have it all, Pisces. Sometimes just not all at once is what I'm seeing. There's also going to be a need for you. For those of you, and I'm not sure why exactly. I mean, I'm sure you have your reasons, Pisces. But I feel like for some of you, this month in February is going to be really important for you to drop down your guard, your emotional guard, Pisces. You do have a very fragile and a very big heart and I know you like to protect it it's sort of your defense mechanism you know that emotional guard that emotional armor that you wear but this month you're going to have to maybe 
disrobe of that emotional armor. You're going to have to let that emotional guard down. Again, you don't have to do it all at once, little by little, okay, one by one. But I'm seeing that there's a need for you to sort of stand down here. Be vulnerable here. Open up yourself. Because I'm seeing that there, you're wanting to let someone in, but you're scared to do it. And that's okay. It's only it's only normal. It's only natural to have those fears, to have those anxieties that the devil speaks of here in your tarot spread. Okay? And if you want someone to see you for who you truly are, let them see. Let them see, you know, um, let them see you in, you know, in, in the star. In the way that this is star tarot card he intends to be seen. You know, transparent, raw, naked, completely emotionally vulnerable here. So it's going to be an interesting week here. Things, and um, I just want to conclude by saying, Pisces, here, I'm seeing that this month here, things, it's going to be a blessing in disguise, though. And you'll see, you'll see what I mean. Maybe towards the end or as the month is wrapping up, but you'll see that things are not necessarily going to go according to plan, but that's okay. You just have to sort of trust that, in fact, it's probably, it's all a part of the plan. Yeah, that's exactly it. Like, just because something here is not going to go according to your plan, well, that too is, you know, is going according to plan. Because I feel like the universe here has something bigger in store for you. If you feel like you're losing control, that's okay. You just have to be reminded that you cannot possibly control, you know, there's a lot of things in life that you can't control. You just have to be patient. Sometimes you just have to sort of sit back and let things unfold. All right, Pisces, and there you have it. That is your um, love reading for the month. Thank you guys for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings throughout the month, so um, do stay tuned. Thank you guys again, and bye for now.